magnetization curve is a BH curve. B is stands for magnetic uh, flux density and uh, H is magnetizing force. A curve is shown. Uh, the region O X is the increase in flux density is very small from x to y the flux density increases almost linearly with the magnetizing force the curve between y and z again the increase in flux density is small the region beyond z after z the flux density is almost constant so this region is known as uh, saturation region of the material. This means that if we change excitation current I, it changes but no change in, is there in B. This is a hysteresis loop. When a positive magnetizing current is applied, I, A, O, A, C is the curve. Uh, OAC represents that uh, the there is a gradual increase in the current in positive direction. current positive direction This is done by changing the resistor R value from maximum to minimum. लेकिन अगर हम resistance बढ़ाएंगे तो current कम होगा and this is the curve which is followed uh, C D is the curve जैसे जैसे हम resistance बढ़ाएंगे the current will be lesser and the curve will be followed C D now अगर current को उल्टे direction में बढ़ाएंगे तो the curve which is uh, we get is this D E uh, in this curve uh, C uh, the value of B is decreasing from here to here the value of B is decreasing and H is increasing in negative direction now keep on decreasing the negative current this will also reduce the negative flux density or come over and the curve which is we get will be between E to F now we will brief once again जैसे जैसे current बढ़ेगा from 0 to A फिर A से C बढ़ेगा हम कम कर रहे हैं flux को तो ये C से D कब आ जाएगा further negative direction में अगर हम बढ़ा रहे हैं H तो D से E further बढ़ाया तो E से F आ जाएगा now start decreasing then we will get a curve between F and G. Now make the current positive. G ke baad, ye, uske baad hum current ko positive kar denge. The curve which we get is G to H. And further increase will give us a curve between H to C. This will be the curve. So the hysteresis loop here uh, which is shown here is uh, drawn from one complete cycle of magnetization increase in current and demagnetization decrease in current. So now what is hysteresis? Hysteresis is a Greek word meaning lag or late. We find B lags H hence the name of loop is hysteresis loop. When a magnetic material undergoes cyclic magnetization, two types of uh, power losses occurs. Pella is hysteresis loss and the second one is eddy current loss. Now we will see now what is hysteresis loss. PH is given by WH V into F in what? where uh, VH is uh, the area of loop under hysteresis uh, in the BH curve or V is the volume of the material and F is the frequency. 
eddy current loss is given here it is pe it is 1.645 upon rho t square f square bm square weber per meter cube where bm is given by ma maximum flux density f is frequency of excitation t is the thickness of the core and rho is the resistivity of the core a conductor can be uh, divided into various shells and each shell is having uh, induced uh, emf and due to in their induced emf there will be different current flowing in the in different shells so but uh, this current in each individual cell the current flowing here is not having a clearly defined path and this leads to a loss and which is known as eddy current loss hysteresis loss can be reduced by using narrow hysteresis loops it can be uh, done by using good quality electrical steels methods to reduce eddy current loss at low frequencies eddy current loss is reduced by making the core of a number of thin sheets called laminations it is practically and mechanically not uh, possible to make very thin laminations and hence granulated or powdered iron cores are used iron dust is mixed with the binding eddy current can be further reduced by using core material of high resistivity